Alright, so the Hulk update has just landed for Marvel Future Fight and here I am, I'm going to be buying his latest uniform, the Immortal Hulk uniform. I have been so excited for this and basically I want to put this video out there to give my first impressions on a tier 3 Hulk and to kind of show the process that I go through when building up the character. So that means taking him to level 70, um, go using going through his tier 3 advancement, um, building his Uru, uh, building his uniform slightly anyway. So yeah, I'm just showing that in the background here. It's a very expensive process, we all know how it is. And yeah, there goes my, <laughs> there goes the goal that I've saved up. But I think Hulk's the only investment I'm going to be making um, in this update. So yeah, all of this is pre-recorded, by the way. Um, I just wanted to show how it is. Um, the tier three advancement animation is coming up for those who want to see it. I'll shut up while it plays. Uh, so, oh, almost there, I missed the gear, but yeah. Anyway, the animation's here, I'll be quiet. Alright, so that was me taking Hulk to tier 3. And I'd been so excited to do that. And of course, um, yeah, I had to flex it to, you, to the Alliance. <laughs> but um, yeah, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna build him up. I'm going to uh, build his Uru and stuff. So, um, one thing I will say is that the change that they, that they made to make a Hulk's attack based on his HP, I'm a little bit divided on that because for the longest time, I think Hulk is the first character that actually changes his the stat which uh, his attacks are based on. Because I think it, there was a comfort for all players knowing that nothing would change, uh, that nothing would change w uh, when they build characters. So if, an, if a character's attack is based on their energy attack, they can comfortably put on an energy attack Uru on him. Um, because they know that future uniforms won't change. Just like with Thanos, his endgame uniform makes his attacks mostly energy attack, but his attack is still based on physical attack. So I do feel like there, there are a lot of players, including myself, who are done dirty because we have physical attack Uru on Hulk, and now we have to take those out in favor of HP Urus. I can only imagine what it's like for players who have Odin's Blessings, who, who put strike uh, Urus on Hulk, uh, thinking that he'd forever be a physical attack uh, Uru character. Uh, but here we are. On the other hand, I do think uh, HP is more thematic for Hulk. It's very interesting. And I think uh, th having HP as the stat that your attack is based on is a double... It, it fun serves two functions, basically, because th the more you build it, the more defensively capable the character becomes. So I find that interesting, kind of. Uh, but yeah, I'm, al I'm almost done with the uniform, uh, with, the with the building up of the character here. And so these are the stats that we finish on. Uh, yeah, so his stats are very easy to cap out because of his uniform bonus. You can see that I have uh, all the all the Uru uh, amplified. I have uh, a pretty good ISO weight set. The obelisk is kind of lacking. It's a it's a guard break immunity, max HP, invisibility. But you know uh, that's what <laughs> that's what I'm gonna work with for now. So um, I decided to take Hulk into PvP first because that's where I think most people imagine his viability would be given his kit and that's where i built him first anyway um so yeah i'm using him here uh again all of this is pre-recorded so i'm just going to be talking over uh, the games that i've played and as you'll see i'm not very good at playing hulk i admit there was a bit of a learning curve um especially especially against the the very meta characters I think I had the biggest problems playing against Silver Surfer because it was just so tricky. There's so many things to watch out for when playing against him. There's the Reflect, there's the third skill, which uh, I think I get destroyed by the Reflect here, as you can see, although I do finish Silver Surfer off. Uh, but the thing is, um, I think I was only able to solo a team twice or thrice in the, the PvP that I was able to play him with. So, um, yeah. The big plus about Hulk is that the way you build him um, really helps really helps him his survivability because 
you you want to give him HP Uru, right? Which means uh, he ends up having a lot of HP in battle. He has the, I think he has the highest base HP in the game now with his tier three advancement. And as you can see, even with the, even uh, now, see when you use his third skill, he gets an HP buff. And if you see my Hulk there, I think the third skill buff is gone. Okay, never mind, I died. But <laughs> uh, you'll see it later. It, the I, the HP right now without the third skill buff is a lot already, and he just gets around thirty percent more, I believe. So that's yep. There you go. Look at that. It goes over three hundred thousand, which is insane. And I'm sure I'm not even the highest the highest HP Hulk. So you know there are other people out there who get it higher. Another plus for Hulk is that his skills do a lot of damage. Especially with the residual effects, right? Uh, you can see against Jean, it's the the residual effects that kill her. No, not here. I think it was in another game, in another match. But but yeah, the residual effects can can do a lot of damage, you know, um, getting in there. But the thing is, against characters like Silver Surfer, the residual damage is actually uh, quite harmful. I would say the residual damage is basically you asking to get hit by the reflect because. Um, yeah, that's how it is. Uh, I do feel bad about this match because I had my tier 3 skill already and I was just kind of reckless. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could have soloed that team if I played more carefully, but uh, that's just how it is, right? Uh, I, f I realized I forgot to talk about the team up. I, w I put Wasp in so that I for the debuff and the 10% HP uh, that she gives all allies. And I put Victorious on the team for the 30% HP. So yeah, I'm focusing on HP here. Um, Colossus might be better than Victorious, but I just really wanted to have that fat HP stat, you know. So yeah. Um, against Silver Surfer, what I realized is you want to to use the five early on and then follow up with the two because when you follow up with the two, the jets that are falling down from the fifth skill will pile on to the damage of the second skill while you're still in iframe, so you don't take any reflect damage. Uh, and then that works. But you do want to bait out the third skill first because the third skill will wreck any plants that you have. <sighs> I think we get the win over this this tier 2 Jean Grey here. It's just a tier 2 Jean Grey. Uh, yeah, it's no problem. Um, one thing I will say is that the lack of penetration in Hulk's kit was quite frustrating, I found, when I was playing with him. Uh, a lot of times there would be... I think Silver Surfer would use his immunity skill and I'd have no way against it and I'd, I'd be hitting him and I'd be taking just reflect damage and he wouldn't be taking any damage at all because Hulk has no reflect of any kind. But yeah, unfortunately, that's the situation that we're dealing with, which as of now, given that it's a very early first impression, I think that Hulk is not good enough to be one of the go-to meta characters. Um, in in the current timeline meta right because he, he's very good I, I do think that he has the the tools to be very good his heal got buffed uh his his hp got massive boost and i think his entire kit in general got a buff right but i don't think i think he's still a class apart from the other characters from the, the top three right we have gene we have Thanos, we have Silver Surfer. I've already mentioned how how rough he has it against Silver Surfer. I think you can make an argument that he can beat Thanos quite easily, but I think I think Thanos still has more more tools to fight uh, Hulk with. And Jean, Jean's always going to be a problem. That uh, it's no use having all that HP if Jean can just stun lock you with her fifth skill, right? And I know I know I'm winning in some of these matches, but just keep in mind that these characters are being controlled by the AI. And like in re if if you put it in reverse, I don't think the that uh, an AI controlled Hulk will do as well against a manual controlled Gene. So you have to take that into consideration as well. I don't know. That's just my impressions of his PvP performance. Um, I took him into World Boss afterwards just for fun. I'll do a proper test with him with a PVE build uh, later on. Right now, I'm just taking him to world boss with a PvP build against a stage 60, just to show you guys maybe how well he does. And I think I'm quite impressed with his damage with a PvP build, right? So um, the rotation isn't refined yet, and he has no proc, so you can expect his damage to get better with a proc, which I will be trying him with for sure. But what I wanted to do here is 
I wanted to get the residual damage from the tier 3 skill and land it with the 4th skill which increases all attack which I think the damage on the attack by 70% right basically it's a proc so yeah that's what I wanted to do his tier 3 skill is quite disappointing it reminds me of Hulk's skill uh, Hulk's skill no it reminds me of Thor's skill tier 3 skill quite a lot it looks cool it's just one big hit and then nothing it doesn't do that much damage it's quite disappointing but um I don't know I'm going to reserve my judgment uh I suppose the question that that I want to find the answer to is does does Hulk get justice with this uh with this uh, update right does his tier 3 advancement give him give him the the justice that he deserves because Hulk is one of the strongest characters in the Marvel universe and his status in Marvel Future Fight has almost never reflected that and I don't know basing it on this first impression that I get of his I don't think it's justice he's a good character but I think maybe a forgettable one I don't think we'll be seeing much of Hulk in the future he reminds me of a character like Mr. Fantastic who or, or Wolverine those characters are not particularly bad I don't think any tier 3 is bad in this current meta except for maybe Black Panther or Spider-Man but um, it's just you're not gonna remember them right like you'll like you'll remember characters like Luna you'll remember Sharon Nemor Jean you know characters like Mr. Fantastic Wolverine, and I think Hulk, I think they'll just fade away after a couple of months for the next shiny tier 3, whoever comes along, right? Uh, I don't know. It's just my first impression. <laughs> um, I'm going to hold off of, uh, on, on judging Hulk with any finality. I just wanted to show off some of the gameplay that I've had with him. Uh, hopefully, this can provide some insight in case... Uh, anyone watching is thinking of taking Hulk to tier 3. If you love the character, just take him to tier 3 anyway. Um, I, yeah. But if you're looking at it from a, a cost-wise perspective, I'm not sure if Hulk is the best investment. Because for a combat tier 3, Captain America, Namor, they're still more impressive than he is, I would say. I don't know. Uh, it's just a first impression, though. Again, I will give him another chance with a PvE build, and I'm going to see how he does. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that this video provided some insight at, uh, into uh, Tier 3 Hulk, if it, even if it was just maybe some very rudimentary insights. And I hope that whoever's watching may have taken away something from this video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching.